indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Buffalo Bills. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Hurts throwing right away. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. And he's upended after a gain of two out right to the 27. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Here's Hurts to throw. Buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. They go play action with Hurts. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 35, here's second down at a yard. On oh, the option left, it's Hurts. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice job there, forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game, watching him try to take away that area of the field. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting him score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. 
They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bills ready to take over. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, Cook gets past and hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. On first and 10, it's game well. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now second and nine. Throwing his hurts. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Hurts. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Yeah, the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll run here with Gainwell. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Kenneth Gainwell, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to add on to that lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. On 
on play action. Allen. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Milton Williams. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On second down, here's Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt it for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Here's Hallett. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that. Looking. Allen hit. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football. Lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Allen steps away to his left. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. It's just been all-out pressure on this drive. They've already sacked him a couple of times. And now here, he's just forced to chuck this one away. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A beautiful fake. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, Gamewell looking for space. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Sometimes I think cornerbacks can benefit from the fact that quarterbacks might just forget about the idea that they might be near the line of scrimmage. How about the anticipation there sneaking in and making a big play in the backfield? Third down and six. Back to throw here. I had a man. But he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And a fair catch, signal for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, quick slant to Shakir. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. across midfield and inside the 45. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem scrambling for 22 and a first. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Cook with a run on first down, but he'll only manage a couple there before he's taken down. They suspected it. it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Here's a second and eight. Throwing now is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Back to the ground, Cook. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Second and nine. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And this offense has been a little slow to get going, but some signs of life here in this second quarter. They're moving it pretty good, and that helps the cause as well. Good yardage and another first down. Going right back to Knox, and again a completion. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. That's on the guard, David Edwards. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Allen now looks to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. 
Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. On third and long, it's Allen. And this one is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. But first down, Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That'll be dumped off to Gainwell. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Got him in, it's Brown. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Here's second and seven. They go play action with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Short completion, just four yards. And now we've got a third and three. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time, it's third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. And will find the open man complete and he is going to have an Eagles first down I do believe yes he's got it by about a yard there on third and three a little football 101 there you just see the receiver try to run down the defender meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch on first and ten it's Hurts goes right back to Smith again and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Throwing his hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Gainwell again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier, was bidding for a second. From the three now, here they come on third and goal. Gainwell will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack, and you just have to love watching the way you can create space down near the goal line, and he's able to take it into the end zone. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. And meanwhile, Allen's throw there complete to Hamlin. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11 as that takes us to the two-minute warning. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap, to stay in bounds and complete the catch. Yeah, great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. From midfield, here's Allen. He'll go up top here for Hamler. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, 
catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. Second and 10. Now Allen has his man. It's Shakir. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 38-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now it's second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Allen. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Allen going to throw. And that's too tall for his receiver. It's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Allen. Throw left side, complete. That's Cook. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Two yards still to go. Third down now. Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. The kick by Bass is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They run it again with Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. To the air, Allen. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. Open man Hamler. That's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first down, Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Motion man is Shakir. Allen now looks to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir from four yards out. And the Bills are back within a score. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. And those two just have been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Hurt sets up to throw it. This will be caught by Brown. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Hurts dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Play action. Here's Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, here's Allen. Right side, it's Hamler pulling it in. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, he's had success running the football on this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Taken in at the 22. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's Hurts to throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing his hurts. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, his throw incomplete. Andy Isabella was the intended target, but it'll be second down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. Still going. He's on his way. Stephon Diggs. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 
taking it in. And the Bills have got it back to within a score. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Well, straight ahead, it's game well. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 40 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there, just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Hurts with a quick throw, complete. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points, I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down.
After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Allen looks to throw on second down. Looking on the other end, he finds Shakir. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drop for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Now they'll work from the 29 on second and six. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Going right back to Knox, and again a completion. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Cook, oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak. Not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the foot. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from going back on top here in the fourth. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. 
We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. But first down, Hurts. Pass to Brown. He's got it on the crossing route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 43, it's second and three. From the gun, here's a run by Gainwell. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 56 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 41. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play there for Philly. And even 40 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. They'll look to run the game well. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen digs crossing the field and bringing it in. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing on first down is Allen. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, 
Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Now Allen throwing on second down. And Allen will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact at the end. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart, took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. On play action, Allen. This pass caught by Hamler. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he's... And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal. So now it's second down. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Allen off the play fake. This is caught. Throwing, Allen. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Jalen Carter in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. 
Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? What does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Hurts. And that's complete to Brown. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. They'll come up first and ten here. Option handoff for Gainwell. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's first down. Now again, a run with Gainwell. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Second down and six now. From the gun, a give to Gainwell. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And they're going to get the timeout called. What a finish. We're down to four seconds to go in this football game. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. up in position to win the game but the kick winds up no good and now you've got to regroup as a team get the energy back up and get ready for overtime and make sure you pump him up too he may be needed to try and win it again later the bills come to the line to start their next drive they'd like to avoid overtime here so maybe they can work the sidelines but then defensively how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline it's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. So the Bills going to be the first to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Play action. Now it's Allen. 
He's got a man complete. A huge play there in overtime. And even 40 yards. Here's Allen on first and 10. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Now, coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? On play action, Allen. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Bills. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And out now come the Eagles. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 20. Now a first throw here in overtime. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Terrell Bernard getting in there to drop him for a sack. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Throwing his hurts. Going right side here, and that's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Backed up deep in their own territory. They were in search of a cushion, and the cushion was found. And you have to think total game, even in overtime. As a head coach, field position still counts in this spot. So they had to get out from the shadow of their own goal line, get themselves some breathing room. Obviously, that helps them on offense, but it may help their defense, too. Might be necessary here in OT. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term, momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their playmakers, and see what happens. 76 yards for him on the ground now, and three touchdowns to go along with it. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. 
So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's going to be caught. Touchdown, Eagles. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Elliott good with a PAT, and that will tie the ball game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here come the Bills. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They go back to that well. He's had a great game. Defensively, they haven't been able to stop him. Same thing here in overtime. And sometimes that goes to the play caller's ego because a lot of times you have so many different plays you want to call. But when you spot a matchup that's working for you or a player that has the hot hand, keep giving it to him. That tells me you're mature as a play caller and it's working for them in overtime. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cook. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect from a defensive perspective they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football there was pressure on the quarterback they were getting after him and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion here's Sam Martin now on for a very important punt here in overtime 
And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job. And Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie. Defense does its job, gets the ball right back. And their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run behind center with Gainwell. Gets around him. And hard running is going to get him over the 40 to the 42. 87 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. And they'll stay on the ground with Gainwell again. And just shedding him off there. Fights through him now a crease. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. Terrell Bernard is in on the tackle. They've had some success here in overtime on this opening drive running the football right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. On second down, here's the option. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. on the right foot of Jake Elliott. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat 